So, we're gonna finish. Uh, why is there no... what's happening here? Oh, the, the audio on the thing bugged out, that's right. The, the world map audio stopped yesterday. Okay, so... Uh, Dino Land. Here we go. We're gonna finish Dino Land today. I feel about 110% better compared to yesterday. I have at least one functioning nostril. So, <laughs> finally, day six of the Summer Slam. We're gonna get... we're gonna get Mario done. And then we're gonna move on to hopefully our next ROM hack today. Uh, Which I think should be pretty good. It's, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. That's for sure. Uh, all right. So yeah, I think we're good, and we're gonna get started. So we have like one or two levels left in World Six. This might be the last level before the castle. And then I guess just Bowser's domain, and then we're done. So I don't think this should take too too long. Is my hope. Uh, I guess you want me to go? Can I go over? Just out of curiosity? No. I always I always feel like I have to check. You never know. All right, so, world six, wham bam. Oh, is this like a downwards level? That's kind of what it seems like. Downwards level with lots of Rip Van Fish Boys, which is kind of weird. Wow, this is strange. Never really seen a, oh fuck. <laughs> Never really seen a water level like this before. Pretty odd, pretty freaking odd. I mean, it's kind of interesting, It's it's different. It's definitely a, like, I don't know, you know what I mean? Because water levels are usually kind of slow just because you're always, sl Mario doesn't exactly move quickly sideways in water. Whereas he does move pretty quickly downwards. So it's more like a dodge, oh shit, it's like a dodge all the fish. Whoa. Oh, shit. And of course we have no power-ups either. Which is not helping my case at all. But we'll... But it's, yeah, it's like I wanna I wanna hold down and just move quickly, but if you hold down too much, because you can pick up some major speed moving downwards with Mario. So if you just hold down in the water, you can you drop like a stone, and it's real easy to get got by fish friends. So we need to be we need to be careful. Just trying to oopsie, almost got me right there. Fuck, we have so many fish dudes chasing us. I want that power up so bad. I need that desperately. There we go. Uh, I'm probably gonna lose this in about 30 seconds. I'm gonna I'm gonna get extra careless now that I have a power up. Oh, it's real big. It's real big. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get extra careless now that I can take hits. <coughs> Excuse me. And now we're gonna definitely lose a life. Uh, the the flower helps tremendously though. What this is actually this is a pretty interesting. Pretty interesting way to do a water level, I have to say. Never really seen like a like a vertical water level, I don't think. It's definitely more interesting than the standard like horizontal. It's kind of cool. There we go, another flower. Definitely take that. Okay, so oh, it's just like a little in between area. I wonder if the second half is also going to be downwards. Oh, we got some fish friends. Fish friends <coughs> everywhere. Yeah, I feel about 110%. It's like, I don't know. Yesterday was horrible. Like, absolute worst. How do you want me to get... Oh, I guess I need to go... Oh, this is weird. How do they want me to get through here? Oh, I see. Yeah, there's only so many paths you can take if you're big, Mario. It's like a, it's like a little maze. A little maze here. I was wondering where the hell they wanted me to go. Oh shit, urchins. Oh fuck, which way is he gonna go? Oh, I'm gonna get boxed in, okay. All right, just gotta dodge fish friends. I'm not even gonna worry about what's in the box. We have two power-ups. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna send it. Oh shit, okay, not that way, we're not. Oh, Mario, okay, <laughs> okay. It's all right, it's all right, we're good. There we are, hopefully the end. And then hopefully Castle 6, and then Bowser's Domain, and then, yeah, we're out of here. <coughs> Try and get some some extra bonus points here. That wasn't bad. Uh, it's been a fun little hack, though. You know, the last couple worlds have actually been kind of... Uh, they've gotten a little more tricky. I mean, they're still not, like, hard, hard. Like, the, the platforming isn't really what I would call difficult. Uh, I ha Oh, shit. Well, I <coughs> guess we're getting stars now. Um... I wouldn't call the- I guess we're 99 anyway. The platforming's not that difficult, still. 
for the, with a few exceptions. Like, that on-off switch level was kind of eh. I mean, for me, anyway. I'm kind of rusty. The on-off switch level was kind of eh. And the, the, the coin snake for the secret exit was kind of eh. For me, that was a little challenging. But, uh, all in all, it's been a pretty fun little hack. This is definitely like a Nintendo... Oh, God, it's like a wa Oh, God, not a water... Not a water castle. I don't know how I feel. I've never... I mean, it's, it's interesting. I've never seen... Oh, God, I've never seen a castle with water in it, I don't think. Granted, I haven't played a ton of ROM hacks, but I, I don't think I've ever seen one like this. It's definitely creative. I'll give them that much. Is that gonna drop down and drop me on the damn spikes? It's just waiting for the tide to get me. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, definitely interesting. All right, now I need to go back up so I can swim through here, right? Are you gonna raise? I don't know. Are you gonna raise or what? What's... There we go. This is definitely an interesting castle idea. I gotta be real, real gentle here. Take her real nice and slow. There we are. Okay. Yeah, what a strange... A strange... That's... Like, oh, this is all water. I, I didn't realize at first that this was water. Oh, I think one of the, didn't like one of the chocolate fortress or something, didn't the chocolate fortress have water in it? I kind of remember a segment like this now that I really think about it. Uh, I think that's about, oh, I think that's about it. But I kind of like, like it really still feels like vanilla, like regular Nintendo levels, but they do, they mix it up at least a little bit. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it. Oh man, that's the worst little segment there. I just had to stop. Having to stop for that, that falling spike took both my damn power-ups right there. <laughs> Trolly as fuck, for sure. We got some torpedo friends. I still think it looks like a Mickey Mouse hand, I swear. It's like the first thing that comes to mind when I see it. The glove and everything, it's just definitely... Ho oh, ho, torpedo dead. Uh, oh shit, okay, gotta be real gentle here. These are getting kinda low, the torpedo friends. I think we're safe all the way up here. Yep, okay. And at least they generous stuff. Usually the castles give you a midpoint before the boss. You don't have to redo. Yeah, so hopefully this is midpoint, and then hopefully boss door. Usually they're pretty fair about that, at least. You get to go right back to the boss fight if you biff it, which I don't think we've actually managed to lose a boss fight yet. And, I mean, the boss fights are all vanilla. They haven't changed the bosses at all. And generally, the Mario World bosses are... I mean, I'd say they're pretty easy. Even when I was a kid, I never really had a lot of trouble with the bosses so much. It was more... Some of the levels were kind of tricky. Uh... Like, some of the special world and the Star World stuff where you had to look for, like, certain exits, that kind of thing. Those, those were where I got tripped up most as a kid. The actual game itself wasn't, I wouldn't say, super hard. Okay, so World 6 complete. Should just be Bowser's Domain, and then... What's up, Larsic? I'm doing pretty good, bud. I'm doing pretty good. Way better than yesterday. I felt like garbage yesterday. So I barely even got a real stream in yesterday. Yesterday we did, like, an hour and a half before I, I couldn't even take any more. <laughs> Roy's Flooded Castle, now cleaned up. But yeah, so Bowser's Domain, we should be able to wrap this up pretty quick, and then we're going to start our new, we're going to start our next hack. It's not a Mario hack, it's not a Metroid hack. It should be, it should be pretty fun. It may actually end up taking a while, it could be like a pretty, it might end up being like a session game, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure how long it's supposed to be. Uh, Bowser's Castle, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight levels? And then Bowser's Castle. All right, Bowser Land. Let's go. Mm, I see. Okay. Hoda bows. Oh, I want that. Oh, there we go. I was. I figured I'd have to wait for the little lad to come over here, but nope. Helpful little hidden block. Mario has entered our hideout. All troops be on the lookout for him. Great. Sounds good. Leap of faith here. Just gotta, just gotta take my time. It's always what gets me in the platformers is I'm just, I'm so, I'm so impatient. That's usually my, what causes my death. Like, 95% of the time it's my own, oh, pencils everywhere. Uh, yeah, it's usually my own fuck-ups that, that cause me the most trouble. Because uh, I try and rush. And my skills are not high enough to allow me... Ah, I always do that on this one... The one-block jumps, man. At least they're not icy one-block jumps. I don't know what it is about the one-block jumps that mess with my brain so bad. I always, like, overcompensate, and then I end up going off the edge. The one-blocks... Oh, I almost missed it. Yeah, the one-blocks are always tough for me. Especially one-blocks over lava. Uh, 
I'm curious to see what they did with Bowser's Castle in this one. I'm, I'm pretty interested, for sure. Because in terms of... Oh, shit. This freaking guy. Uh, in terms of design, you know, I'm curious if they kept it like the eight-door, like, choose-your-path kind of kind of deal. Or if they did something a little more traditional or what. Oh, boy. This is always... Okay, there we go. All right, got to keep my hits through here. And I got to do the damn lava jumps. Definitely, definitely the worst thing for me. The one tile, lava lad, is just ugh. Fucks my whole life up. It's gonna take her real easy, real slow. Take my time. Not overcompensate. Make sure I watch out for potato lads. Can I get up there? Yes. Okay. Yep. Oh, there's a. Wow. We don't even need it. We don't even need the three up. Fuck that. Definitely not worth it. In terms of things that are not worth it, that is very high on the list of things that are not worth it. Uh, I don't even really want this dragon coin, to be honest with you. It also seems like more trouble than it's worth. Got a thwimp. Many thwimps. Ah, shit. Should have known. Alright, well, at least we get midpoint. Now I'm not quite as nervous. I don't have to worry about redoing that whole segment there. Well, it looks like we're gonna get at least one more ghost house before this is all said and done. Potabos. What's up, lads? No, thank you. I want to do this. It's going to cause me pain, potentially. Okay. Can I go in this? No. Okay. Oh, we got the, the bone lads. Oh, do they want me to fly up there? Kind of looks like it. I, I'm not sure if this is a one or two exit level. Oh, it's just for a dragon coin. Okay. Watch out for fireballs when going down the next pit. Oh, yeah. We got some Potobo friends here. Oh, are these not? There we go. This one's smashable. So what's in here then? Star. Wow, that's a well hidden, but very, very helpful star that I will gladly take. <coughs> I will, yeah, 100%. Oh man, <laughs> almost, almost took it into the lava there for a second. It's absolutely scorching here today too. The heat index is supposed to be close to 100. Like, I think by like three in the afternoon, it's supposed to be almost 90 degrees, and then the sun's out, and it's like beating down. It is unbelievably, it's just like oppressingly hot outside today. Like, no reason to do anything besides sit inside and play video games. Uh, absolutely ridiculous. <coughs> and tomorrow, I think, is the actual official first day of summer. Uh, they want me to, okay, so they want me to scroll the camera. They're giving me the hint about it. So I guess we'll I guess we'll scroll it forward, I would assume. Oh boy. I like the color palette here in the background. It's a nice looking Oh my god. I can't believe I just jumped in the hole. <laughs> I can't believe I just jumped in the hole. Absolutely shameful. Still by no means a professional Mario World player. That is for damn sure. I just did it again. I just went right just directly directly into the hole. <laughs> Alright. Time to get serious. Time to bring my bring my A game here. Oh man, absolutely shameful. Absolutely shameful. Okay. So you want me to scroll? I'm gonna scroll. Keep it to the right. They're saying about some long jumps here. So yeah, I don't know why. Like I overcompensate in the air, and then I end up setting myself up for failure. I do it all. Oh. They want me to bullet bill jump here, I think? I guess I can bounce off this one probably, right? Is that enough height? I think it is. Come on, shoot. Shoot. Well, oh, come on. Oh, you're the worst. There we go, okay. Oh fuck, I gotta land on the one tile. Oh man, we're still missing that one switch. Not good. This would be a lot easier if we had that switch. My life would be a lot less stressful. Oh man, I'm gonna bonk my head. Okay. Okay. This level, this level is a thing, for sure. This level is a thing. I don't know where the hell we missed the red and the green. I think they were back in World 6, I'm just not really sure where. I'm still confused as to where the hell they are. Oh no! Damn it. This would be a great level for a cape. <laughs> this would be a great level for a cape. I kind of want to go snag one. Actually, I am going to go snag one. Because we have the convenient Yoshi Isle right here. 
So I'm gonna go snag myself a cape. Ghost House of Red Level. Yeah, I'm not sure. I couldn't find the... I forget what it was that we found. I think I found either the key, and I couldn't find the keyhole, or I found... It, it was one or the other. I was missing something. Uh, I can't remember which one it was that I couldn't find. I guess we can go back and take a quick look for it. Let me get a power up here. Uh, I don't think the ghost house had two. Well, see, you might be right. It might actually be both, because we're missing the red switch and... Whoops, why did I do that? We're missing the red switch and the green switch. So, you might be right. It might be... There might be one in both, to be honest with you. Oh, shit. Oh, whatever. Fuck it. I don't even really need Yoshi. I guess I can get a blue Yoshi here. Now that the other Yoshi's dead. There was a blue, yeah. Let's grab this lad. And then we'll... Yeah, I don't know where the hell it was. But, uh, we just couldn't find it. So, we found this one. That one, we found the red exit. This one, we could not find. The Urchin Ocean. Oh, it couldn't have been the ghost house, because the ghost house... We found both exits. So the one exit was a loop back to here. And the other exit went down. And this red level in the middle, we found both exits. Because that one, one went back up in a loop again. So all those are good. So the only one I think could, that could have a... That we didn't find was this one. Was Urchin Ocean 1, as far as I know. I don't remember what this one even was. Let me go back here real quick and see. I think this one was the keyhole was over... Oh, yes, right, because I got the midpoint so I could come back here. Because I couldn't find it yesterday. And I was like, well, we can just restart the midpoint and look for it. So, there was a P-switch here. That I thought we were going to need for something. But I could not figure out what. Yeah, there was a P-switch here. And I think we found... I'm just going to leave Yosh. Uh, I think we found... Oh, I forget, because it was like, if you use the P-switch here, it gives you like a hint. And it was like RB... R A G B? Yeah. So I don't know what they mean by that. R A G B. Like, I want to say, like, red, green, blue for R G B, but I don't know what the A would be then. If they were colors, I don't know what the. I don't know what the colors would be. I don't know what A would be. And I forget what I found here. I think I found the keyhole. And it, the keyhole was, like, over the level or something like that. And I can't remember, I, it was one or the other. I think I found half of the equation, and I was missing... Oh, did I really not get him with the cape? I found half of it, and I couldn't find the other half. And then I was like, well, fuck it. I didn't think it was that important, but I think there is a switch hidden here somewhere. In color scheme, A would be for transparency. Oh, yeah, because, okay, so the key... The key was right here. So, the key was... The key was in this one. So, I had the key, and I went above the level, because I could go above over here. There was nothing there. There was like a three up there. Uh, I tried going over this way? I don't remember. Maybe it's over here. I don't think I did this last time. I think I forgot about this part. It's probably down here. It's probably right in front of my... Oh, shit. Probably right in front of my eyes. Oh, fuck. That's what I need the P-switch for. Fuck. I knew I was going to need the P-switch. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's just reset the level. Yeah, and see, that's what, I checked that yesterday. I did go above the level, but I went above the level to the left, and there was nothing over there on the left, so I couldn't find anything. Uh, Game Slayer, thanks for the follow, dude. So, yeah, I went above the level the other day, and I couldn't find shit. So I was really lost. It, it went all the way back to the start, and there was nothing there, and I was like, well... Or there was, like, a three up or something up there, and I was like, well, okay, whatever. Um, but now we know. So I need to take the P-Switch over and knock out all the coins first. And then we could go back with the key and get that sorted. So let's go. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get this last switch. Well, I guess this is going to be red or green. We're still going to be missing one. But the last one may be in Bowser's Domain. It seems like really late. I mean, they, they actually they give you the switches surprisingly late in this game. Uh, you know, we didn't even get the yellow until like World 4? World 5, I think? So it was a while before we got the before we got the switches, and we're only we still only have the red. Or I'm sorry, we have the yellow and the blue, and that's it. Yeah, right. Green is definitely the most useful, no doubt. Definitely the most useful. I'm just gonna drop this. The P switch should not despawn, so it should be there when I come back with the key. 
as far as I know. The P-switch, even when you run it off screen, it'll stay there. Same thing with the key, actually. So I'm gonna run this back, grab the key. We'll see, this'll at least give us a switch. Hopefully the one that'll help us in some of these Bowser levels. Maybe we'll get the green switch like right before Bowser. Something like that. Don't know. I can't believe I never checked above over to the right. Because I definitely did. I went all the way over to the left above and I couldn't find anything. And I was like, well, I guess there's just nothing here. And I was looking for like a P-switch door or something. I couldn't find anything yesterday. And then I just kind of like, well, we'd spent like 15 minutes in this level and I was kind of like, yeah, all right, we'll just move on. But now that I know I missed the switch, I definitely wanted to come back and check this out. I'm glad you reminded me about that. Because I, I actually forgot about this level. But yeah, then we're still going to be missing one more. It's like, you get the two most useful ones in world, like, pretty early on. Because it's what? Green is in... Green's in the second world. Yellow's in the first world. There's green switch. Good deal. Uh... And then you get red and blue last, I think. Red is in the donut. Or the, the cave or whatever. Red's in like vanilla cave. And then blue is in forest of illusion. I don't know why I'd want to go up here, but okay. I think it might be a race. There might be like a super prize if we make it all the way to the top in time. Oh, yep. There it is. We get a moon. That we really didn't need, but okay. This is just what a reset. I don't even need the one up out of the green box. <laughs> We're good there. Oh, it's just another way to get to the switch. Okay. Well, so there we go. So green switch acquired, at least. So the only one we're missing is red. So I wonder if red's gonna be in Bowser, Bowser land. But either way, having the green will be helpful. So let's grab a couple capes. And then we're gonna grab some capes and go back. We'll do that. But that, that platforming level is gonna be way easier with the cape. Because my platforming skills are garbage. They are garbage. So I definitely need... The cape crutch. I mean, I don't need it, need it, but for your sake and mine, <laughs> we'll grab it. How about that? So I want Yosh. Eh, fuck it. We'll bring Yosh. He's questionably useful. I mean, he's at least a he, he protects my cape at the very least. He's a free hit. That makes him questionably useful. So we'll, we'll bring him along for the ride. I don't really care about. Well, we'll take the flower. Still a better power up than the mushroom. Okay. Whoops. That's right. You can't start select out of this one. Okay. So let's go take another crack. Now that we're now that we're prepared here, let's go take another crack at that. There's actually there's a fair amount of stuff in there. There's like bullet bill jumps, a lot of one platform or like one tile jumps, and it's like I, every time I run into him, I say it. But the the one platform jumps are 100% my biggest weakness in Mario World. One platform jumps are. They just wrecked my whole life. So, having a cape definitely makes the margin of error a lot higher for those. Oh boy. Already making almost bad life choices here. But see, then the, so the only problem with the cape then is I get cocky. Is I get overconfident because of the glide. And then I, I overshoot. I try and do, well, okay. Uh, I overshoot and then I make things harder for myself. Oh, so you don't even need the bullet bill jump there with the cape. That's super nice. Yeah, okay, now we have the green platforms here, so that helps a ton. That's incredibly useful. All right, now I got a bullet jump. Oh, shit, this is going to be rough. All right, friendo. There we are. Okay. What are the odds there's a cape in here? Nah, okay. Oh, well, this part will be a lot easier. with the Because I think we can... Can we just actually... No, I still have to shell jump. Or bullet bill jump. That's going to be hard. Or wait, can I just make that? I don't know, because I think between Yoshi and Big Mario, I might bonk my head. Ah, shit. All right, see you, Yosh. Whoops. Oh, I think I can jump off this one. All right, hold on. Whoops, I keep I keep hovering early. Then I, shit. The hover's messing my life up here. Hold on. Shit. <laughs> Come on, Mario, please. Please, lad. How did I do this last time? I made it past this part. Did I just do that? I guess I did. I just sent it. Oh, no. Cape's gone. Well, rip. 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 Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Shambles. All right. I'm going to try and go back in here capeless. This is probably going to be a bad choice. Oh, man. Coming in here without the cape is going to be... Yeah, it's bad. I guess i got to work on my skills, though. I need the practice. Man, 
I am. Yeah, these one tile, one tile over pit boy is just not. Oh, uh, what? Oh, I didn't even jump. I didn't jump. I just walked right into the pit. Um, one tile jumps, man. I just get so, like, twitchy, I guess would be the way to put it. And I, I overcompensate, and then I usually, because my problem is usually I make the jump, like I land it. And usually what happens when the one tile jumps for me is I actually, I end up walking off the edge. Like, I, oh my god. Yeah, like I just, I screw myself over, is what ends up happening. Is I usually, I usually land it. I don't usually undershoot it. I usually hit right on, and then for whatever reason, I, I keep holding right, and then I slide myself right, right over the side. Alright, I'm gonna go get another cape. Uh, but yeah, it's, it, it's brutal. I just, I do it all the time. And those are the jumps that always... I think it doesn't help, too. I kind of psych myself out. Like, I see a bunch of the one-tile jumps, and then... Instead of just, like, relaxing a little bit and just taking it easy, I... I instead... Double down, and then I just... I overcompensate, and then I screw myself. Alright. Let's try this again. I really... I was hoping I was gonna get a midpoint, at least. If I could at least get a midpoint in there. We, we gotta be getting close to a midpoint. Unless there's no midpoints in the Bowser levels. I wasn't paying attention in the first Bowser level if there was a midpoint or not. But, yeah, we could really use one just to kind of take some of the pressure off. I always feel like that big sigh of relief once I find a midpoint in a harder level. It gives me pause. So at least I know I've made it far enough. Alright, so... Let's be a little more careful. Oh, okay. See, that's not that's not being careful, Finch. There goes your cape. You screwed yourself, lad. You screwed yourself big time. Now you gotta do all these jumps all on your own. Oh man. Well, at least we have the green blocks. That helps some. I don't know. I just get so antsy on the on the one tile jumps, and they just I don't know. Ah oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, I desperately need a midpoint. Well, at least there's a power up in here. Uh, this is about where we died at. It wasn't far after this point. That I can just do. Uh, here's all the one tile boys. Try to get speed in the beginning to fly over the level. That's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea, actually. I don't know if, if I'll be able to. Let me go back and try it. Um. The author of this one's actually been pretty good about trying to prevent you from cheesing levels with the cape. There were like two segments that I tried to do that, and he kind of puts like a creative, he'll do like a... Yellow pipe looks suspicious. Okay, I'll try and keep an eye out. Um, there's been a couple levels, like that on-off switch level yesterday where you had to ride the platform. Because I tried to, I thought about doing the exact same thing as trying to fly through it, but he actually put a pipe pretty early on in the beginning that went all the way up to the ceiling so you couldn't fly past it and then there was another there was another part where you definitely couldn't fly through so the author's been fairly clever in terms of not letting you cheese things so i don't know if i'll even be able to get enough speed to take off here anywhere because all the platforms seem pretty pretty small i don't know if that's enough room to get flight i don't think that's enough room to get flight right there maybe here I don't think this is going to be enough either. Is this going to shoot? Yeah. That's not enough either. Got to be somewhere. Maybe. Maybe the treadmill. Yeah, it just doesn't leave me enough room anywhere to get the get the speed that I need. Maybe here. No, I still think this is too small. Oh, I almost had it. That was it. That was it. Ah, oh, but see, look. Ah, oh, see, he trolls the shit out of you puts the pipe there. So, not as simple, yeah, it's definitely not as simple as just cheesing it. I am gonna go get another cape. Oh man, Bowserland is gonna be a slog for me. If it's gonna be, if they're gonna be all like this, like bullet bill jumps and one tile boys, this is gonna be, this is gonna be where, where things slow down. We made pretty, like the first day, I made pretty steady progress, all things considered. Uh, the second day has been, well, yesterday was slow. I didn't really play a lot either, so that didn't help, because I felt like garbage. But these last couple levels leading up to old Bowser. Oh my god, I really did it. I really got hit right there. It really happened. Can I go back down and get another one? Let's 
Uh, reset? Yeah, it resets. Okay. Well, now we got two. Hopefully that'll help at least a little bit. At least then I get two chances to screw up. And someone's gonna make fun of me because I, I need the cape this badly, but... <laughs> I really do. I honestly, I honestly truly do. It's, uh, it's a struggle. Alright, and I'm actually going to, just for the sake of making this easier, I'm just gonna put one here. I'm not gonna save state in the level. Just so I don't have to go get the cape every time, make things a little bit quicker. Uh, I'll throw one down. Just so I don't have to go back and get the capes every time. But yeah, I'm gonna need them if I want to get through this level in any reasonable amount of time, I think. Without dying. Yeah, it's unfortunate that I can't cheese it with flight. That would be... That would be great. <laughs> that would be amazing. But it just wasn't in the cards. Come on, shoot. Oh, I biffed it. Shoot. Shit. It's damn. Uh, you know what? I can just do it from here with the cape, I think, right? Yeah, just do the float. Okay. Got a one tile here. There we go. Okay. 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 Shit. Whoa, Mario. Whoa, lad. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god, I'm getting, I'm getting, palms are sweaty AF already. That's for sure. Oh, there we go. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay. Solid ground. Solid ground. Oh, I love it. No midpoints here? Wow, really? It doesn't seem like they're gonna, it seems like, yeah, wow, no midpoints in Bowserland, apparently. Just gotta send it. Holy cow. Well, that's gonna be interesting. That's like, I don't know. I feel like my platforming skills aren't, I shouldn't say they're not bad, because they are kind of bad. It's just there's certain things that are way harder for me than others. And those kind of jumps, those are like my, those are what really get me. Like this, I can probably handle. This is, just looks like a speed section. Wait, is this not gonna go down? Oh, there it goes. Like that kind of stuff generally isn't as hard for me as, oh boy, as the, the one tile boys. The one tile boys were really just, Oh man. Okay, never mind. This is that's that's a little challenging. I'll give it that much. Oh, I really missed him with the cape, huh? I really missed him with the cape. You can't cape these guys, right? Yeah. Okay, just had to make sure. I can't believe I don't know what happened there. I just I mean I missed apparently. This is probably a mistake. I should not try and fly through this segment. That's gonna be bad. I just set myself up for failure. Nice. Well, midpoint, and there's a cape right at the midpoint. I wonder what's up there. That just seems like prime territory for like, hey, fly up here. Right? Really? Nothing there, huh? Fair enough. I really, I mean, it is a yellow level. But that just seems like a, like a guaranteed, like, hey, oh, wow, what is happening here? I guess I should, I guess I need to wait. <laughs> Yikes. That's frightening. I should be safe here, right? Yeah, okay. It seems like the flat sections are generally going to be safe. Oh, no. There it is. Got me. Got to move a little quicker. I got to hit that and make it through the hole. I don't have a lot of time. I got to keep my speed up. You think there's something up there still? Let me try, let me try and fly up. Let me try and fly up this way. Now I'm holding up still. I still, I don't think there's anything up there, as far as I can tell. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the hell the point is. I mean, you would think there'd be something there, right? It just seems weird to put it there. But, yeah, weird. Real weird. What a strange, what a strange hole. It definitely looks super shady, like that's... That's super shady. Must be all the Metroid we've been playing. Like, that's just... I'm, like, conditioned to look for shady... Oh, God, this part is... It's deceptively hard because you don't have a lot of time. So you need to... You need to jump up and hit the first spinny block, and then you also have to make it back up there. And you gotta keep your speed. It's a high enough jump, you need to have, like, somewhat sprint speed to be able to make it up there. I should carry one of those shells with me. That might make it easier. If I bring one of the Buzzy Beetles. Spin flight. Ah, I could do spin flight there. It's a good idea. It's a good idea, lad. That is a good idea. All 
right, as soon as it starts to raise, I'm gonna go. I need the time, I need the time. I gotta move quickly. There we go, okay. Oh man, I almost squished myself. <laughs> I got antsy that I finally made it through and then I almost set myself up for failure. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to slide. There we go. Oh, okay, I'm safe here. Okay, got worried. Oh man, I gotta slide through this one too. Oh, Mario, wow, almost bit it. Okay, I'm gonna wait here, this should be safe, right? Wow, almost thought I was gonna get squished there. Really thought it was gonna happen. The concern levels were very high. Oh shit. Well, we're flying now, boys. <laughs> okay, all right. We made it. Oh God, there's more. Oh God. Oh no. Oh, and I flew. Fuck. Well, I should be safe all the way up here, right? Oh no, this is, oh, I see. That's like a little troll right before the end there. Trying to get me. Trying to get me big time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you. I don't know if I can say well done. Two exits, huh? I wonder if this is where we're gonna be finally get the red switch. I'm getting there. It's like, you know, it, it's taken me a while to get back in the swing of Mario. I just don't play Mario enough. So the problem is I'm I'm never going to get to the point where I can play hard hacks just because and I'm like this with every game. Oh, that sucks. And because I'm on the thing, I can't even get my extra power up. Um, I just can't play the same game a lot. After like 10, 20 hours of a game, I'm usually pretty burnt and I'm ready to be done for a while. I can't do like what Sparky does where I just play Mario hacks like all the time. So it's gonna be hard for me to ever get my skill set high enough that I can play hard hacks. So I'm always stuck playing the easier ones because I just can't, I, I can't practice long enough to get good enough for the Kaizo shit. I mean, the difficulty would be a turn off to begin with, but I'm never gonna be one of those people. I can't be like a, like a poo or a barb and just play the same game. You know, there's plenty of people on Twitch who just play like Fortnite or Pub or they play Mario hacks or they play Hearthstone. Wow, how did I not die? You know, but they play the same game, and that's like their game, that's like their gimmick. It's just, I can't, I can't play the same game over and over again. Uh, so, it's, it's hard for me. I just can't ever get good enough. All trips in the Lava Lake region must make sure Mario doesn't find the red switch. I want to go under here, just to see what's under here. Up, oh, up, oh, I'll bet you that's it. I'll bet you anything that, that leads me to the secret exit. Oh, fuck, okay. I'll bet you anything else. Oh wait, that's probably the way to go. Cause it just, so you just die there. So you need that, you need to find this thing. Huh. Here, I thought I was being clever, but I don't think I found shit. I think I just found the way to finish the normal exit. Yeah, this is just progression. See, that would be that would be a hidden exit in a, in a regular Nintendo. Like this is pretty vanilla, I would say. It's like 95% vanilla difficulty, but certain things in this are not. Uh, like, I don't think Nintendo ever expected you to do anything like that in Super Mario World. Um, I think I'm just gonna try and come back here with a cape and do some exploring. We'll see if we can find the red switch, because I do I do want to have all the switches, hopefully, before Bowser. I'm hoping that all the switches will make Bowser's castle hopefully easier. And usually the levels after you get the red switch, oh, I want that cape in the worst way. There it is. Anything in here? No, okay. Pipes are all a bust. I kinda wanna fly. I feel like I'm gonna need the thing though. Oh, what's this? Moon. Okay, there's keyhole. So, where is, there's probably lava. Oh yeah, there's blarks down there. Well, so we know where the keyhole is. Just gotta find the key. I wonder where the hell the key is. I mean, the problem is the key could be fucking anywhere. Uh, the key could be anywhere, so. The block after the green box. Ah, uh, maybe, that's a good, that's a good guess for sure. That's a good guess. I'll definitely, we're gonna go back and check, because I would like to find the red switch. That's a good idea. We'll definitely check that out. I do want the red switch. So at least we know where the key is. Bowser Ghost House is probably gonna be, the Bowser Ghost House is probably gonna be interesting. Uh, 
I think I could fly through a good chunk of this level if I could get the speed. I think I could fly most of the way to the end. I gotta try and keep my cape here. These damn bats are trolling me. Uh. Oh boy. Okay. So, what kind of power up do we have in here? Now that we have a cape. Ah, uh, it's a freaking flower. Well, still better than nothing. Uh, better than a mushroom at the very least. Yeah, if I get somewhere, I can get some speed up. That's it's, They really do, they, the author tried to make it so you couldn't cheese his levels. Oh, uh, what? What? Oh, garbage. I can't believe that. I don't even know how the Blarg got me. I guess I hit his eyes. He must have clipped into me. Oh, so there goes my first cape. We gotta find we gotta find the key. At least we know where the keyhole is. So half of the equation solved. If you scroll forward in this level, that makes the that makes the blarks appear early. So the blarks don't work until they show up on screen, is what you're telling me. That's interesting. I did not know that. I did not know that. I wonder if it's in one of these. Oh, that's gonna be trolly as shit though. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to mess with it anymore. I don't think it's there. That would be super trolly. If that's where it is, that would be incredibly mean. <laughs> that would be really fucking mean. If they expect you to ride that thing, like, all the way to the end, and then get out, that would be fucked. I hope that's not where it is. I mean, the keyhole's already pretty hidden, so I hope I hope you're right, Larsic. I hope it's just in that box by the green, by the green block. That would be great. Because, man, if the if the key's that trolley and the hole's that trolley... Like, we lucked out when we found the box. I just kind of I just kind of went for it. It makes kind of sense, too, because they give you the green block right there. You need to fly from there. So it makes sense. The problem is I need to get both. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Easy enough, then. Just got to not lose this. So, yeah, I flew from here. So you got to use the Skull Boy. Oh, shit. That's gonna respawn, right? Skull blocks? Yeah, okay. Biffed it. There we go. Okay. There, it wasn't too bad. Red switch acquired. Oh, man. That was scary, though. That was scary. Okay, so now we have all the switches. That should hopefully make my life easier. This is gonna be coins. Uh, there's like, oh, I see. There's like little coin bits here. If you're careful, get some nice little bonus items, I guess. I mean, we really, we don't need the lives. I don't even know why I'm bothering. Yeah, we don't need the lives. I'm just gonna move on. Well, okay. I guess 99 wouldn't hurt, <laughs> right? If I can get this damn thing. There we go. All right, there we go, 99. Now we can move on. Wow, this is a long segment. Okay. Okay. At least we have all the switches. That should hopefully make our lives easier. I don't know what Bowser's Castle is gonna be like, so. Concerned about the uh, the Bowser Ghost House, how trolly. It looks like it's only gonna be one exit though. I don't see how else they could even make it, unless the second exit just literally does nothing, or the first exit because it's just like there's nothing here. Eerie lads. Uh, yeah, there's just nothing here. I almost want to try and fly here. There's like a lot of there's a lot of free area. Screen scroll up? No. Curious what's down on that that yellow block down there. I wonder if there's like a vine or anything in there. Seems like that would be a good place to hide something. In this room, like, is there a hidden block in here or something that I want? I don't think so. I don't know what the purpose of this room is. And see, now I'm back at the beginning. So yeah, my thought would be there was that yellow block. Of course. Yeah, it's possible, I guess. See, right here. I feel like there's something in here, potentially. P. 
P-switch. Well, I can't take that through the door, so I gotta use it here. If I use it, it's gonna give me an arrow. Oh, right here. Okay. Ah, this is a troll one, though. This is the same damn door. Hmm. Same door. So, we need to use the P-switch somewhere else. Yeah, it's gotta be... I mean, it has to be somewhere in here. It's just a question of where. Because it seems like you're gonna try and troll me. Hey, ghost, leave me alone, please. Uh, well, let's take it over this way. Oh, you know what? I'll bet you anything. I'll bet you it's where the big boo is. That seems like a good place to hide it, like right behind where the big boo spawns. Well, the question is, now I gotta get past all this garbage. Oh, shit. I screwed that up. Ah, oh, shit. I screwed this all up. I was trying to get fancy and do like a jump over him. All right, I'm just gonna take the hit. I'm not gonna be able to pull that off. Let's see what's down here. I feel like if they were gonna hide a door, this would be where to hide it, right? Fuck yeah, I'll bet you this is it. There's something different. They're still trolling me. What is the purpose of this room? I mean, it's different. That's a good sign. Like, I don't know if I should be looking for... Can there ever be anything in a hidden block besides, like, can there be a P-switch in a hidden block? I don't know if I want to go through here. Oh, okay. No, this is new. This is new. Okay. So we're making forward progress. And they give me a cape here. Should probably hold on to this. Whoa. It's a weird spot for, uh... Huh. Oh, man. Eeries. Please. <laughs> Fuck. I probably need another P-switch. I'm assuming, like, build a bridge to get in that door or something. Well, there's an exit. So, wait, is that it? That can't be it. This this first exit's gotta be troll. There's gotta be something up in that second door. Unless that's just, like, a little bonus area or something. I guess we're gonna find out. Ah, yep. Trolled the shit out of me. Trolled the shit out of me. So, we're kind of at, like, a wall here before Bowser's Castle. What you doing, pupper? Alright, well, at least we know... We know pretty much how to get where we're going. So, that helps. That helps. Uh, I want that power-up. Oh, damn it. Well, now I really need the power-up. Fucking... Oh, oh fucker. Alright. Oh, boy. Why am I getting hit by everything here now? What happened here? <laughs> I, I feel like the ghosts were a little different last time. I guess I just had it moved around enough that I can make it through there. But so at least we know we know most of the way forward, but we gotta figure out. I'm definitely missing something with that section after the big boo door. Um, there's totally something. Like that upper door has gotta be Jesus, some of these jumps, man. That upper door has gotta be the ticket. Uh Alright, let's get you guys. Yeah, let's get you guys like over over about here, I think is good. Seems fine. Okay. Take the P. Let's go see Big Boo again. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Oh, I still... I put myself in a bad spot. gonna bring you oh you know what I can do come here friendo I guess either well, I was gonna say I could slide kill him but either way I can just get past him there so that seems like the best way to do that let's get in here there's another power up in here as well if I want to try and get it shit another cape okay I will totally take two capes so we gotta figure out how to get in that upper door there's got to be a P-switch, something hidden around here. I mean, they give me a cape. It almost makes you think they want me to fly somehow. I guess... <coughs> excuse me. I guess there is enough room to fly here. Ah, uh, yep. There's something up here. There's the P-switch. Okay. But see, that's still... Because that's going to get me in here. But I still have to get the door open. Because there's no... Oh... Wait, what? Oh, and then, okay, so when the door goes away... Okay. 
So when the when the things go away, this will be a solid block, and this will go back to coins. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, it makes sense because they give you. I mean, they give you a mushroom in the boo room. Oh no! Did I just get trolled? Maybe. Maybe. Can I fly here? Can I get back up there? Um, they give you a mushroom in the boo room. Oh, it's actually troll. Okay. It's actually troll. I don't think I can get in that way. Because I flew even back up there and there's nothing. So this must actually... They must be trying to punk me. Uh, I just want to try one more time and make sure. Yeah. There's no, there's no getting in there. Okay. I guess this is where we need to go. Fell into a trap. Now you never get out alive. Great. The next room is filled with gas. You have only, oh gosh, only 100 seconds to escape. Why do they time me on stuff? I'm so bad in time sections. They just make me antsy. I fucking hate time sections. At least I have my, my, I have my cape. So hopefully I can just do... Oh no, Mario. Mario, no! Oh god, there's no midpoint here. Oh, no. That sucked. Why did I do that? Why did I do that to myself? Shit. Well, I'm, I don't know if I should take my time through there and just do it, or if I should try and fly. What's up, Wiser? I don't know if I should just take my time in there. I don't know how tight the timer is. So I don't know if like 100 seconds is gonna be enough and, I'll, and I'm really okay and I'm just panicking for no reason or if I should really try and fly and pull that off. Oh man, wish there were some midpoints in these last couple levels, that's for damn sure. Midpoints would be very helpful for me right now. All right, Big Boo. I mean, at least now I know where I'm going, so it's not that bad. I don't even need the cape here. We already have a cape. We can get one more in the next segment. I mean, I know what to do. A dynamic midpoint in my controls. Yeah, you know, I, well, I was debating. I was debating putting one before the hundred, uh, before the hundred second section. Kind of give myself. I think that's a fair spot for a midpoint. Truthfully, uh, that seems pretty damn fair to me. Maybe we will. I don't know what's going on with that segment there. I'm trying to avoid it as much as I can, because I do, I want to get better at Mario. I just, oh man, I'm so bad. And the problem is, the thing is, even if I get better, it won't stick, because I'll play Mario for like a couple weeks, and then I'll, I won't pick it up again for like months. So, it's always hard for me. All right, we'll put a little midpoint here. So yeah, it's always like, even if I get better, my the, just the skills don't stick, is the problem. I think, like, right around here, I can just fly through if I'm at this height. There we go. Let's try this. Mario, what are you doing, lad? Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Wait, what? Ah, I should have known. Should've known that was troll. Yep. Gotta slide. Oh shit. This part. This part is trolling me heavy. Get me out of here. See you, Eeries. Oh man, they're getting the Eeries are getting higher. Okay, the timer is actually pretty strict here. We have 13 seconds left. Like that was with flying and everything. No, the, the fucking, that is really strict. 10 seconds is not a lot of time. Or 100 seconds is not a lot of time. Just, I had like five seconds left and I flew. I flew through the whole first part. They must intend for you to do that. There's no way you can make that just running. Didn't need the dynamic midpoint though. We did it without. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that is a tight, that is a tight timer on that section. Oh God, it's this, remember the disco ball that you saw only once in the entire damn game? Here it is again. I always thought the segment was so weird. That's, yeah, I think the only place you see this is Bowser's Castle, right? There's no other place in the vanilla game where they use the disco ball, as far as I know. I always thought it was so strange that they only use the gimmick one time. 
Same thing with like the like the torpedo Ted's you barely ever see. I think if you don't even go, I think if you miss some secret exits in vanilla, I think you never actually get to even see the torpedo Ted's because they're in like one of the soda secrets or something. Oh fuck. Yeah, they're in like one of the soda secrets or something like that, if I remember right. Oh fuck you, Koopas. Shell boys. Now what? Now what? Oh boy, okay. Gotta be careful. I wanna see what's in these. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Just didn't appear. That was really weird. Uh, I probably wanna go up. Uh, I wanted to keep that shell. Should've thrown it up. I guess I still have this. Still got the cape. Oh boy. At least we got those helpful red block friends there. Hooking us up heavy. I want to stay up here, I think. Okay. Oh boy, these are the large Koopas. These are the tall boys. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, really? 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 The cape didn't, cape didn't connect. Son of a bitch. All right. Ah, oh, we made it anyway. I'm still gonna need that cape, though. <laughs> I'm gonna need that damn cape. I'm really excited to see what they did with Bowser's Castle. I think it's gonna be interesting. I'm curious to see what changes we've made. Bowser's Land 6, and then we got back-to-back, back-to-back castles. Oh, what do we have here? Cape? Ah, fuck. Alright, what's in this? Where is almost my castle? All bullet bills attack at first sight. Oh god. This is gonna be interesting. Is this gonna be the first bullet bill generator level? Oh god. What? Oh, I wasn't. I think I gotta be holding. I gotta be holding dash and holding right as soon as I get launched out of the cannon. Or I'm gonna land in the lava every time. I always forget how this works. Like, you can definitely. You can get further if you're holding a certain set of buttons. I'm just gonna hold everything. I'm gonna hold Y, B, and right. And then somehow I overshot at that time. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Fuck me. Alright. So did I just need to hold dash and right? Like, what? I don't know. I, these, these always felt weird. Never a huge fan. No, okay, so it's gotta be holding jump, because I was holding dash and right that time and I got no height. So it must be holding jump. But if I hold all three for some reason, I overshoot the damn bonsai. Bonsai bill. And then I go right in the fucking lava. Garbage. So I don't have any air control, do I, when I'm in launch mode? Can I steer? Oh, I can't kind of steer, but that's still dead. I'm in the fucking... Alright, I'm getting a cape. I'm getting a cape. No thanks. <laughs> I'm getting a cape. That part already is just trolly as shit. I'm gonna go snag one back at Yosh. And we got Yosh's secret aisle for a reason. We're gonna damn well make use of it. Yeah, that part is trolly. I finally make it on the bonsai, and then, but then it's it's too far back, and then I just end, I still end up in the lava. I come up a tile short of freedom, so. So when I play Mario, there's gonna be cape abuse, unfortunately. It's, it's just the, it's just the way things have to be. There's no, there's no way around it. All right. Let's grab two capes. Hopefully that will be, that will be my ticket. I might even just throw myself a little checkpoint before we start the level, so I don't have to get back. It definitely seems like a level I'm gonna need a cape for. I'm gonna try and not cheese it with flight. I'm just gonna try and use the cape to help me platform. But I'm gonna try and not abuse the cape too much. Too much. No promises, though. All right, so I'm just gonna throw myself a little checkpoint here, just so I don't have to. I don't want to have to make the trek back to get the cape every time. Just it might not even be that bad after this first jump. Just this first jump is fucking. Weird as shit. Yeah, that's way easier with the cape, for sure. Alright, you know what? I guess we are. Oh, wait, no, there's like an invisible ceiling here. They don't want me to do it. Yeah, there's like an invisible... Something gets me stuck there. I'm on a short leash here, timer-wise. Yeah, if you try and fly, you get fucked, actually. There's no easy way. No easy way to get through there. I wonder how tight the timer is in this segment. Uh, I don't even know if I should wait for the cape. It's probably gonna spell my own doom. I don't know how much time I have. 
I'm just gonna leave the mushroom. This might be a mistake. <laughs> this might be a mistake, but we're going for it. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time. I might have to, I might need the flight at this point. This might be the only way to make it. Oh, oh, we made it. Okay, come on. Where's the exit? Oh, shit. Where's the exit? Oh, damn it. All right, hold on. We're gonna need the capes, though, for sure, so I'm just gonna reload. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna save state in the level, but just to prevent myself from having to go back and get the capes every damn time. If I could get a little bit of flight going here and just stay low. But yeah, I end up hitting the, I hit the ceiling and then I get screwed. It really doesn't work well here. He's got to set up to troll me, kind of. Yep, see, like, every couple feet, there's, like, a little... If I could stay... Ah, yeah, I just can't stay airborne. It's too hard. Ah, perfectly placed to fuck me. <laughs> perfectly placed. Oh, man. That's good, that's good. Very good placement of the, the bullet bill. God damn, that is fucking brutal. There we go, let's try this again. It might be too low. Let's try that. You just can't fly all the way up. If you try and fly off screen, you're gonna get got. Oh! All right, <laughs> you like this hack? I've had a pretty good time with this one. Um, it's been good, it feels, it feels enough like a vanilla Mario game. Like, it's not punishingly hard. It's it's hard enough for me. I'll say that much. Uh, it's hard enough for me. Uh, it's like anything anything when you start talking like Kaizo difficulty, that kind of shit. Like even harder hacks, like non-Kaizo hacks are still usually too difficult for me. This is a pretty good balance of difficulty for someone who's not very good at Mario. So I can't complain. I just, I suck. I suck so bad at Mario. Not a good Mario player. Just not good. Nothing I can do about it. I suck. I'm trying to get better. It takes me. Oh, I got trolled heavy. Oh, I don't know how short the timer is here. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Well, now we're super boned. Super boned. Oh, uh, damn it. Oh, same fucking place as last time. Alright. Jesus. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna freaking do it. I mean, there can't be that much level left. The timer's not very long. So there can't be a ton of level left here. Ah, shit. Got me. I'm trying to fly as much as I can. I hit the damn invisible ceiling again. Oh, I almost jumped right into the bullet, lad. Almost got got. Oh, man. Not good. Not good. Yeah, I mean, time-wise, we just don't have a ton to begin with, so there can't be... There can't be that much level left. There can't be that much level. Oh, man. Lost my cape again. Shit. Well, I'm just gonna take the hit here, I guess. Oh, we're so close. We're like right here. This is it. How trolly are the bullet bills gonna be? Super fucking trolly. They're super trolly. Oh, bonsai, bonsai lad, please. Nine seconds. Oh my god. Whew. Five seconds to spare. Five fucking seconds to spare. That's a tight timer. That is a tight timer. That was with flight too. I don't think the same thing. Like I don't know if you could do those just running. Like I flew, flew, and I had five seconds left. So that's that's rough. That's a that's a, that's a tight segment right there. All right, so we got Larry and Bowser, and we are we are ready to send it. Saws, oh yeah, there they are. Oh god, I've always been so bad at these at these segments. I was never good at the riding the riding the motor bits. Oh oh, and those knock you off when you get hit. Okay, fair enough. I guess I didn't know that. <laughs> I I really didn't know that. I thought I could still stay hanging on. I was very wrong. Okay, so I gotta be, I'm gonna try and hang low. Oh man, I always suck at these. There was that There was that one bridge level that had you do some of this. And I always, I always skipped that level when I was a kid. I just flew over it. 
pretty much constantly. Uh, oh man. Oh wait, I stayed hanging on that time. Why did I stay hanging that time? But yeah, I always, th there was that level like this on the one bridge. And you want me to scroll, huh? Well, let's do it. Um, was that gonna hit me? Yikes. Yeah, this might actually make it easier, Larsk. I think you might be right. Oh, yeah, like the coin like the coin snake you have to walk on, Wiser. Yeah. There was that one castle level that had that. That level fucked me up a ton when I was a kid. The, like, the coin snake over the spikes that you had to walk on. Yeah, that was rough. Um, oh, God. Oh, what? Huh. There's, like, two doors there. I wonder if only one of those gets me a midpoint. Um, but yeah, like, those, the riding the saw on the rope levels, uh, I'm kind of curious what the message box has to say. Careful not to jump too high. Oh, thanks. Uh, oh, yep, there it is. Um, yeah, those, those are some of my worst, and like the, the math platforms, like the ones that count down and fall. A lot of those were, were a struggle for me as a small bab. Oh, Mario. Oh, yeah, like the... I always called these things, like, they look like they remind me of peas. I used to call them green peas when I was a kid. Um, but yeah, these things are the hit detect... Like, they're kind of weird in terms of, like, how the springiness functions, for sure. Oh, 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 there it was. I got myself. I got myself. <laughs> got myself. Son of a bitch. All right. Are they called green beans? I used to call them green peas when I was a kid. I always remember, that's what they reminded me of. Um, so... Oh, shit, I gotta be down. Um... Lost my train of thought. What was the second special Star World level? Was that the was that the was that groovy? Was that the one you had to do the P the P balloon? Dude, that one took me so long to get through when I was a kid. It took me so many attempts to finish that shit. It was insanely difficult for me when I was a small bab. Uh I wanna try and stay up top and see if that'll give me a midpoint this time. It seemed like there might be something up here. If I can make it onto there. Oh, shit. I should I should have just stayed up there. Why didn't I just stay up top? Yeah, the pee balloon level. Yeah, I think that was groovy. I hated that one. That one wrecked me when I was a kid. Hard as fuck, for sure. Uh, that one definitely kicked my ass when I was little. Alright. Well. So we gotta stay low. Scroll the screen as far as I can. Give myself enough time to react. That was a good idea, though, Wiser. Scrolling the screen. That's a good call. Or not, I guess it was Larsic, sorry. <laughs> Getting you guys mixed up. But yeah, that was a good call, for sure. Good call. Gives me a lot more wiggle room. I can see these things coming a lot earlier. Definitely helps. Alright, so we need to... I want to try and stay high. So I can get... I want to get up there. I want to see if that second door leads me to a midpoint. I don't have to redo the stupid saw section each time. I think I'm gonna get hit if I stay up here. Where where did all the crazy shit start coming? I was right here, I think. I'm safe here. Okay. I think I'm safe. Oh, not safe. Not safe. Not safe. Alright, so I wanna... Oh, man. Mario. Don't do it, lad. Oh, ho, ho. almost biffed it. Alright, so where does this one take me? Oh, same place, it's just for a one-up. Not worth it. Definitely not worth it. Not worth it. Oh, man. Okay, well, let's try and keep... Let's try and hang on to our mushroom here. Because that would definitely make my life easier if I could at least get one hit so I can take one ceiling spike to the face and not get wrecked. Oh, the red switch is saving me here. It's protecting me from the spikes. That's good. I must have missed that last time. I didn't even realize it was there. I gotta wait for the screen to scroll. I'm not being patient enough. It's weird because there's like a delay between you going up and the screen scrolling. 
Oh, shit. Well, that's nice, at least. Um, so at least if, I, if I'm more patient, I won't wreck myself. I need to just wait. Because this is where I died last time, I think. I went right here and I got too antsy. And there were spikes up at the top. Uh, I always hated these. Such a pain in the ass. Yeah, that was where I died last time, I think. Oh, man. Thank God for the red boys. That's all I can say. Oh, what's in there? I wonder if there's a power up in there? Ah, that's one up. Well, forget it. Okay. Stay exactly in the very center of the abyss when you jump down. Ugh. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, I mean, that wasn't that bad, I guess. Midpoint. Thank you. Boss time. Okay, which one is this? Larry, the, the platform in the lava? Oh, shit. Oh, okay, see you, Larry. <laughs> Alright, Bowser time. Oh, man. I don't know if I want to split Bowser off into his own. I might split Bowser off into his own video. I don't know how long Bowser's castle is going to be. Oh, my, my, I think this light bulb is dying. Can you guys see that flickering? It looks like my, the light bulb above my head is like, it's like flashy. It might be, it might be on its way out. Okay. Mario must rescue Princess Peach from Bowser. I'm assuming we're going to get a vanilla Bowser fight. I can't imagine it's going to be too different. This hack's been pretty vanilla boss-wise. Okay, here we go. Alright, let me split. I'm going to split Bowser's off into his own section. 